In this lesson, we're going to continue to update our website and we're going to create that main welcome slogan area. Uh, so I'm just looking at our nav bar and generally you see the nav bar pulled over to the right hand side. So this is a really easy fix where we just do a text align and we just pull it over to the right hand side. Uh, and so this gives us the ability to see our navigation menu uh, pulled right over to the right hand side. Uh, we're still taking up those proper spacing and everything for the website. So when I refresh it, we see that we still got 40, 60%. Uh, we've got all of the main menu over here. And of course, we're going to remove out these, uh, these lines. So I might as well do that now because this isn't actually part of our main design. Uh, this was just while we were doing our initial uh, setting up of the website. Oh, something went wrong there. So I left in that extra quote there. Uh, so let's refresh it again. What we want our website to look like so far. As we can see it's responsive and we are going to be taking care of that responsive part of the website as we progress through the course as well. Uh, but for now we're just building out and we want it to look presentable um, within our current design. So let's go ahead and look at the main container, that welcome area. So ideally we want to have something that's fairly large and with Bootstrap there is actually an option with it. Uh, so when we go to Bootstrap, we have a basic, some basic CSS styling and components that we can use within Bootstrap, and they can actually accomplish some of this. So we've got what's called components, and we've got one called Jumbotron. Uh, so this lists it out, uh, presents it as we would normally want, maybe a welcome screen coming into our website. Uh, and this, and I mean, this is probably really ideal for the way that we want to present it. So we could always go ahead and we can copy out Jumbotron. We could pop over to our, our website and this welcome container could become a Jumbotron. And I'll show you what this is going to look like now. So when I refresh it, we've got the welcome to the website and it's contained within a Jumbotron. And then we just need to apply that styling. So let's go ahead and add in a span there, have welcome to the website. And then we'll have another paragraph there. Please look around and enjoy. So let's go back to the Jumbotron and we see that typically they have an H1 for that hello world. So maybe we should even update that to H1. Although uh, usually I am hesitant to use H1s. Uh, I like to rather use H2s. So maybe we could stick with an H2. Uh, and this is because usually I reserve H1s for the, the site title. And this is more for SEO purposes. Uh, so this is something that maybe we can even adjust with our styling and we could have the content about the website as our main h1 or h2 and then this way we could keep it consistent because we're not going to be reusing uh, these uh, this main welcome page on any of the other web pages so this is just only for the index page uh, so this is something to consider when you're making out your design how you want to use your heading tags so the h1s and the h2s so typically the way that I'd like to do it is I'd like to keep this one an H1, this one an H2 because this is just a welcome one, but even more ideally I'll just create in, into a div and then that way I can make some characteristics for it with a class. So I can set up a class and I can call it something like welcome. Header. and then go down here and open up my CSS and from here I can set the different size of text that I want so I've got my options for the text alignments so I can also do the font size and maybe I'll just do 1.6 em or maybe we can even do even larger so 2 em And we'll add in some padding there. Uh, 
and just take a quick look at that and see how that's coming out. Uh, so this isn't really aligning well with my paragraph. So maybe I want to look to even adding in and customizing this because of the jumbotron. It's actually adding some styling into those paragraphs. So we may or may not want to uh, keep that or we could remove that. So this is all depending on how we want to present our styling. So with the Jumbotron, we've got some default styling for paragraphs. Uh, so ideally, maybe we want to have additional paragraphs as well, or we want to just override the styling that's available within the Jumbotron. And we want to update that paragraph styling to be different font size so maybe we can bring it down to 1 em or even smaller so 0 0.7 em so maybe we want this one to look smaller and actually I'm just thinking about it. it's probably better to just customize this and uh, we already have an ID of welcome so let's just totally customize this and add in our own styling around this welcome screen. So here I've got my welcome paragraph and I've got my welcome header there. And we can add in some padding around there. And even add in margin, so margin left so it's always pulled in at least 15 picks. So it's moved in from the rest of the content. Uh, maybe even make it a little bit bigger. And then we can add in some styling for welcome as well. So let's add in some default padding. So padding at the top. And we'll do 30 picks. I believe this is what Jumbotron has. It's got padding bottom and it's, it's got 30 picks for top and bottom so there's probably a shorter way to do this so top and bottom is 30 picks it's also got a margin at the bottom and probably I think it's 30 pick margin at the bottom we can do a background color so this is so it stands out a little bit more And let's also add in a border radius. So we're going to round the corners. So border radius and maybe do something like 15 picks. So now it's a more rounded border. And I'm actually going to get rid of this one. So it stands out a little bit more. Uh, so essentially this is our welcome message. And maybe we even want to move it down from the top. So we want to do maybe a margin at the top as well. So we'll just do margin top and bottom at zero. So let's uh, take a look at it on our other web page here. And we notice that it's being pulled over to the left hand side. Uh, so the problem there is that uh, so we do have the container there but because we're overriding the margins that would have normally taken place with container within the ID, so this is causing an issue here. Uh, so let's create another div. And we'll just put that div inside of that container. So that should fix that issue that we had pulling it over to the left-hand side. And that was again within the bootstrap styling uh, so that was pulling it over to the left hand side. So let's take a quick look and so this was that container area and in the next section we've got to create a two column section down here for our main content. So that's coming up in the next lesson.